Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley, and today I'm going to be showing you multiple ways on how you can print the contents of a string array using Java. So let's get right into it. So firstly, for our first demonstration, you're going to be needing java.util.arrays. However, if you only want to use the techniques that require for loops, you don't actually need to include this. But if you want to completely copy what I'm doing to follow along, then you need to include this. And what I mean by print out the contents of an array, I'm going to show you. So we have got a string array here, and it's called word data, and it contains a bunch of words like hello, moto, sup, dog, rusty, jeff, bozo, jim, mark, mike, and bob. And in this line of code, we're simply going to print it out. And we can do system.out.println, then we can do array.toString word data. So let's hit save and hit play and see what happens. As you can see in the console, it prints out each element of this array. Uh, we have a square bracket, then we have hello, comma, moto, comma, sup, and so on until we hit the end and we hit another square bracket. This is good just for some quick testing, but some people may not want this or may want to do more with the elements of this string, so I'm going to show you how to do that. The next thing we can do is we can do a fancy looking for loop. But this isn't exactly a for loop, it's a for each loop. And a for each loop functions in a very similar way to a for loop, except you don't have an index variable. So what's going on here? Well, we've got for, then we've got string word, a colon, word data. Now, if I were to say for each string word in word data, would that make more sense? Because what we're basically doing is we're going to loop through each element of the word data string array and in each iteration we can access the data of that element with this word variable. We're literally looping through each element of this string array and we're using the word variable here, which is called word, to interact with the data that we're looping through for that particular iteration. And so we can do system.out.println word. And I'll show you what this does. And as you can see, firstly, we're printing out everything the normal way, but then we've literally got each element on its own line. And that's because of the for each loop we just did. For each loops are very useful and in some situations can be better than normal for loops. Obviously, there it doesn't make a huge difference and use what you're comfortable with but we've basically printed everything on its own line, which is great, but what if we want to print everything on the same line, but without the commas and the square brackets? Well, I've still got you covered. We are literally going to combine each word or element in this string array into, its, into one string, and we're gonna separate each of them with just a space, and I'll show you how to do that. We have got string array total equals nothing, basically empty speech marks. And then we're going to do another for each loop. So we're going to do for string word colon word data. Then we do array total plus equals word and array total plus equals empty space. And then we do system dial dot print line array total. So we're taking this array total string and we're going to literally add on to it the current word we're looking at in our string array. And after that, we're going to then add a, a space so we can have something to split up each word so we know where one word ends and one word starts in a way. You don't need this, or you could put a comma here or whatever you want as your delimiter. In fact, you don't even need this, but I advise you do, because otherwise it's going to look a bit weird. And then after we literally just add up everything, we just print out the result. So let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, firstly we do our normal arrays.toString method, then we do the print everything on its own line method, and after that we do the print everything on the same line but with spaces in between each word, no commas and no square brackets method. This was requested by a viewer, which to me says other people want to do this, so here's how you do it. And that's basically it for this tutorial. These are some basic ways you can print out a string array using Java. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more tutorials.